the reliability of the Honda. Taking a look at the Honda car today. These things hold their value because they just tend to run forever. But this one has a curious issue that needs looking into. It's a little dirty in here, but look at this. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, check out these seats. Hey everybody, it's me, Russ Shaw, with the uh, 2000 Honda Civic EX. It's been sitting here warming up for some time. Um, now it is winter, and we are hovering right around freezing as this is being recorded. And this is weird, like, that's not a light that's on right there, it's just a, it's just a red thing underneath. But my son noticed that the gauge here doesn't seem to move much. I did do a code read on this vehicle and there was nothing. No codes. It seems to be running properly. And it does, and it runs great. I'm gonna clear the code, you ready? There it goes. <laughs> Cleared the code. Little bonus material for you on clearing the code in this vehicle. But it's been a really good car. It has a little uh, rattle on the air conditioning, but other than that, it's been a good car for him. The concern is you don't want to run an engine that is too cold. Most people have issues with temperature sensors and coolant problems when the engine is too hot, of course, because that will cause all sorts of problems, right? That'll leave you stranded on the side of the road and possibly blow your engine. But what a lot of people don't know is that if an engine is running too cool, that is also not good for your engine, especially in the wintertime. These engines, even in the year 2000, yes, <laughs> they are designed to run at a certain temperature as to not cause internal mechanical problems. So if your engine is running too cold, it can you can blow your engine. And I've had it sitting here. Uh, let's see, the heater's on. I should probably turn that off. So here's a test for you if you suspect your engine's running too cool. Make sure your hood is closed. Start the vehicle. Air conditioner on. Okay, must want the fan on a little bit. There we go, and we're gonna run the vehicle for about 15, 20 minutes like this. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so it's been sitting here for about 20 minutes. You can see the gauge is, is working, functioning properly, at least while the vehicle is sitting. One of the things he's experienced is on the freeway, it's all the way down on cold, you know. So could that be an issue? Here's how we're going to find out. You're going to need yourself a temperature gun, all right? This is, uh, you see these almost everywhere you go <laughs> here in COVID-19 land. This is being recorded in 2021, December and you know you, you go to a, an event <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna scan your forehead to see if you have a fever these things are incredibly accurate and uh you need one of these to do this test now what i'm going to do is scan the engine right by the temperature sensor and see if it comes up right around 170 degrees where do i get that number if you buy a thermostat for this thing it's going to tell you what the temperature is so you look up the vehicle you look up your engine you know, four cylinder, six cylinder, whatever it is, go to O'Reilly.com or Rock Auto or one of these companies and it'll show the specs for the thermostat, what the degrees are. These vehicles run on the cold side at 170, all right? So when I shoot this, it should be above 170 degrees if the thermostat and or the temperature sensor are working properly. People tend to just jump to conclusions about the thermostat on these vehicles. There's a lot of people replacing thermostats that don't need to be replaced, in my opinion. There's not a lot that could go wrong with thermostat, to be honest. It's a piece of metal that fluctuates with time and in, in temperature, and it, they don't they don't tend to break down that easily. All right, they do need to be replaced on occasion, uh, but. Usually that's not the problem I've found. 
All right, just had the fan kick on, which was a good sign. I have no leaks. I popped this open and it spit a little bit yesterday. It's quite interesting. Put it in there. Um, so here we go. See, it's been leaking oil from the valve cover right in this area. And some of that will get on these temperature sensors, which is right there, and cause them to fail. Yeah, we're at, we're right at temperature. Like this thing is running right where it should be, which is a beautiful thing. It's going to go up to 180 watts of fan will kick on as it gets hotter. And the fan had just turned on. So there it goes. That is beautiful. It's doing what it should be doing. Hit the like button if you you like a Honda Civic. Hit the like button anyway. <laughs> it helps. These these videos take effort and time. Thank you so much for hitting the like button. It's right down there. It's easier than popping the hood or the trunk for so that. What I do if the temperature gauge was below 170, you may be asking. I would replace both that temperature sensor and the thermostat. I'd replace both of them, and here's why. Because the thermostat may not be operating properly, and obviously if the temperature's off and the temperature sensor isn't even throwing a code, uh, that could be a problem. You will get a code, that code, uh, that's your temperature sensor code, usually that there's something wrong temperature wise with your vehicle. And so basically what I just taught you is how to diagnose this gauge not working properly. And they do, you know, not work properly over time. I'm not, it doesn't necessarily fail. It's just not that accurate, which is not a big deal. You could replace it. It's a lot of work to take the dash out and replace that, but it's fine. Any weird things going on with your Honda, temperature-wise? Love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe, and why not watch another video? Stick around!